Welcome to That's My Biz, the internet business showcase where we bring exposure to products, services, and special causes of local businesses and organizations. Thank you so much for joining us. We are coming to you live from the BizLinks TV studio. Brought to you by this site names. Hi everyone, welcome to another another episode of That's My Biz. I'm Pamela Alexander and I am so excited to just share with you all the businesses that we meet and we love here on That's My Biz to expose your products and your services or your special cause um, to the world. And I have with me today our special guest, Miss Michelle Skipper. Thank you for joining us, Michelle. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Absolutely. We are so glad to have you. Now, Michelle is the president and founder of Empowerment Consulting LLC, a human resources consulting and career coaching firm. Michelle formed the company based on her passion to help others pursue their dream and true talents, individually and professionally. As an innovative and thought-provoking leader, she has over 15 years experience in human resources, government, and healthcare operations. Utilizing this experience, Michelle has helped hundreds of individuals find their true passion and increase their income. Wow, we are really glad to talk with you today, Michelle. Now, let me first ask, why did you start uh, your company, Empowerment Consulting? Great question. And actually, I've, I've been in human resources, like you said, over 15 mm -hmm. years. And what I found is that people sometimes would have a great resume, mm -hmm. but they still weren't getting a job. Okay. And so I said, wow, what is going on that they, you mm -hmm. know, they're getting called, but they're okay. not being successful. So I stepped back, mm -hmm. took a look at it and said, it's interviewing. Mm -hmm. okay. It's interviewing. It's a full package. Okay. It's not just about your okay. resume okay. that helps you get in the door. But what I want to do is help you uh, go further. So okay. and that started Empowerment Consulting. Fantastic. So now tell me your vision um, just all around Empowerment Consulting. Oh, well, uh, recently, just as recent as March 2014, um, unemployment is still at 11.8 million uh, okay. people don't have jobs. Okay. And so my passion and my vision for the company is to really get people employed, but not just employed, but doing what you were born to do, okay. what your passion is, being happily employed. So out of those people that aren't unemployed, mm -hmm. or even the ones that are employed, they're not exactly happy at their okay. position. Okay, so. okay. So, and you mentioned that your services go beyond just providing resumes and helping with them res with resumes. So tell me more about the various services that you do offer. Okay, uh, we offer, again, resume, mm -hmm. but we also offer help with the interviewing skills. Okay. We use different assessment tests. Mm -hmm. So these assessment tests help not only uh, judge your skill level, but also what were you made to do. Okay. And so this is, okay. what was I created to do? And one of the most popular ones that's requested is a Myers-Briggs type indicator. Mm, yes. So we have a um, lot of Is that the one where I'm ENTJ? There you go. I did it many, <laughs> many years ago. Wow. I just remember the letter, so you're going to have to tell me again what it <laughs> exactly, stands for. Exactly. But you know, but that, that's it. You, and you know what? Even though you did it years ago, mm -hmm. you still are an ENTJ. Wow. So when in the sessions, we go over that and what that means for you. And for instance, I had a client that was in the IT field. Mm -hmm. However, this client wasn't happy in their job. Made okay. good money, but they weren't happy. And what we found at the Join the Myers-Briggs okay. is that they really were right about trade. Wow. And so they didn't stop necessarily working in the IT field, okay. but they now do it as a passion on the okay. side. So really, we're, we differ because we want to help you find your passion, mm -hmm. what you're made for. Um, we also help update LinkedIn profiles. Okay. So a lot of times they see people just sit them out there. You can't just yes. sit them out there. So yes. you, you got to update them. Oh, that is fantastic. I know I was helping uh, someone with their profile but you know I'm not the wordsmith person mm -hmm. so I'm sure being able to come to a company like yours to really help um, pull out what's important like you mentioned even with the resumes and now we have LinkedIn that sort of starts out to be the online resume for some people but helping them really pull out what's key but again tied back to their personality and the, the job that they're truly interested in getting right mm -hmm. so and that's how I think we differ from our okay. other competition okay. is that we help you find out what you are okay and that's what I was going to ask you um, some some of the differences um, now, are you the type of human resources company where you go into a company and provide human resource services or they outsource it to you as well or no? No, that's another portion of Empowerment Consulting. Okay. And so actually they do outsource okay. human resources um, to us. And so we will come into the company okay. and do an assessment, find out what's going on. Um, and usually our ideal client with the human resource consulting mm -hmm. is a small to mid-sized company. Okay. Uh, they usually have less than 50 employees, mm -hmm. 20 about 50 employees, mm -hmm. and they're growing. Okay. Okay. But they need to establish some policies. Right. Um, 
uh, we help them build their HR infrastructure okay. so that as they expand, okay. they have this already in place. But also we do training, uh, we do uh, environmental assessments, so we okay. come in if there's low morale. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of different var- variety of services we okay. offer for the HR consultant. Okay, so small businesses that are out there, 50 employees, but you now do you work with larger ones as well though? We do work with okay. larger we ones. work with larger ones, mm-hmm. so all of you all out there, but especially <laughs> I know some of the smaller ones because yes. they have the challenges when it comes to HR, even just from what to do. There's so much I know with my business, I really didn't want to get into having employees because there's mm-hmm. so much to know around it. Yeah. So utilizing a firm like yours, um, you know, would definitely be valuable as we grow. So businesses, make sure that you all keep that in mind and these types of services. Um, now tell me, who are the types of clients that you, what are the types of clients that you work with? Okay, so for career coaching, actually the majority of our clients are those who have been recently laid off mm-hmm. but now decide okay what do I really want to do okay so it, it's probably um, mid, I would say mid-career mm-hmm. but also to those students that are graduating from college okay. there's a lot of competition out there yes. how do you stand out mm-hmm. what do you do and I like to work with mm-hmm. college students mm-hmm. the year before they graduate actually okay. so career coaching is not just about meeting with us once okay. and saying okay it's a one-shot deal it's actually about building that relationship mm-hmm. Helping you find uh, insights, mm-hmm. the, using your intuition, right. and just really encouraging you through right. the process. Because it, again, it's not about just having a great resume; right. it's about building relationships, mm-hmm. and we help you with that. That's fantastic, and that's the best time, I think, because they can really start out more moving towards their passion. Maybe it wasn't what your degree was in, right. but you can feel how they uh, apply that. And I remember our career services that we had at Emory was fantastic, and we got an opportunity to do interviews and things like that. Mm-hmm. Now, is that something you do as well? Help them with their interview skills skills and and how to interview how to even really apply and get the jobs we do it, okay. actually what we do um, in your first session with us you'll mm-hmm. bring your resume if you have mm-hmm. a current resume we'll review that as well as we'll interview you okay okay and if you prefer we actually take the interview so you oh. actually get to see that's very yes. valuable because you don't understand the little nuances that you may right. have so we'll tape your interview and then we'll provide feedback for okay. you once we provide that feedback you come back again because again okay. it's not a one-shot deal you're going to come back after utilizing those skills that you right. just were taught mm-hmm. and then we'll t- see how you do with wow, that that's so. fantastic now the the big question is and everyone's out there mm-hmm. is probably really wondering is are there actually jobs out there in the first place for these people to obtain? There are. There's so many jobs out there. And that's another thing we assist with is the job search, but okay. job search strategies. Okay. Because you know what? It mm-hmm. is a competitive environment mm-hmm. now. So you can't just go out there, send that resume. Um, some clients come to me, and they've been, I've been applying for six months online. Right. Right. you got to get from behind that computer. Mm-hmm. So, again, it's about forging those relationships. Okay. You can build strong online mm-hmm. relationships. You can use your social media, okay. whether it's Twitter, whether it's Facebook, but most importantly, LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. So we teach you how to utilize LinkedIn as a serious uh, job right. search tool. Mm-hmm. Honestly, 96% of recruiters are going to LinkedIn to look at your profiles. Wow. So it's important to, to have know. that. That's mm-hmm. good to know. Now tell me, because you mentioned that about LinkedIn and how to actually really utilize it properly, because people, the, the things I've seen on LinkedIn, I tell <laughs> yes. you, so I'm glad that someone like you is out there really helping people. Um, what are some of the pitfalls that you've seen uh, people do, not on just LinkedIn, but even in the job search? Okay. Um, one of the major ones, let's start with LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, LinkedIn, they don't post a picture. Mm. They cut and paste their resume. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and, and I tell my clients, I'm pretty forward, mm. but I say, you know what? They can ask for your resume. Right. Who are you? This is your time to shine. LinkedIn, right. you know, your resume, you want to limit it to about two pages, mm-hmm. but with LinkedIn, you have the opportunity now to write an excellent summary. Okay. And that's attention grabbing. Because okay. the average recruiter only spends about 10 to 20 seconds mm-hmm. looking at that LinkedIn summary. Okay. So you want to grab their attention, make them want to read more. Okay. And this is where you're going to highlight your volunteer skills. A lot of people forget that that volunteer work it actually counts for right. something, okay? You right. have a skill set that you want to advertise. So that's one of the common mistakes, people not utilizing LinkedIn properly, as well as they're not linking in with those companies. You know, you want to join those groups. You want to okay. connect with those recruiters and those companies. So that you, again, forging relationships. Um, another problem I see with uh, applicants is, again, they're sitting behind that computer mm-hmm. and they're not getting from behind a computer. Okay. Uh, join some networking groups that are in your specialty. Mm-hmm. If you're in the medical field, join some medical associations. If you're a trainer, there's training associations. Okay. Honestly, there's probably an association for everything that you would right. do. So 
Yeah, right. And what about like meetup groups um, in their particular industry as well? Have you found those to be useful? They are useful. Okay. But again, it's the strategy behind it too. Okay. Don't attend every meetup group. Okay. And also mm -hmm. too, people sometimes go into these uh, networking saying, what can be done for me? Right. What can you do for them? Right. So once you get out there and say, what can you do for them? Mm -hmm. Once you get out there and really show that you care about other people, okay. they'll care about you and they're going to think about you and you're going to stand out because okay. the average person out there doesn't care. Okay. So. Okay. And I, and I love the point and the tip about LinkedIn because I've made it a rule now that I don't even accept connections if they don't have their photo up there. Their actual photo, not the dog or not the <laughs> ghost picture, but right. their actual photo because it is about connecting with that particular person mm -hmm. um, and then now also do you encourage them to get professional headshots most definitely not the selfie not the <laughs> selfies not the one with the craziness in the background <laughs> and your child is cute mm -hmm. you know but mm -hmm. there may be a Facebook um, photo not for LinkedIn um, and I equate the not having a photo to when I was searching for a home okay and so I would go to different websites mm -hmm. and I could read about a home right. but if I clicked on there I didn't see a picture mm -hmm. next right okay so and also recent photos okay so a lot of people worry about age discrimination and say well I need to put this photo when I was 30 years old mm -hmm. on there and you may be 50 55 now um, what I say to that is that's d deceitful right and they're gonna see who you right. are so be who you are this is again if you're 50 guess what you have a lifetime of experience okay. to offer too okay. and that's where that summary is going to catch that but definitely professional headshots um, are key Great, great. Now, what are some of the pitfalls or mistakes that you've seen them make with the actual physical? First of all, is the actual physical resume still needed? And then if so, what are some of the pitfalls or some tips that you can provide related to that? Okay, great question. So the resume is still needed. Okay. So, so that is still your introduction to get into the door at times. But also some of the pitfalls that I've seen are typos. That's okay. just a major time, you know, and, and I do resumes for a living, but guess what? When I send a resume out there, mm -hmm. someone else, matter of fact, two or three people have reviewed it. Okay. So I even have people review my resumes. Um, so it's the typos, mm -hmm. also inaccurate information. Mm -hmm. Um, and I tell people to be very truthful on your resume because okay. they're, they're going to check. They, mm -hmm. They'll do background checks and everything. So just being accurate, um, having good information. I've even seen resumes with misspelled names. I'm like, you didn't misspell your name? Wow. Right? So, <laughs> so again, it's just sometimes people rushing to get it out there. Also, only having one resume is a common mistake. If you're if you're mm -hmm. gearing it towards something else, you want to have different resumes. Again, mm -hmm. you're highlighting your different skill sets. You're mm -hmm. not not um, creating anything okay. new but you're highlighting different skill sets. Okay, so spending the time to kind of change up to make sure that you're focusing on what that particular position is. Right, right. Okay. And also too, making sure you address some of the keywords. That can be done in your cover letter. We develop mm -hmm. cover letters as well. Okay. But also too, making sure that you uh, address keywords mm -hmm. and I see people all the time apply for positions they're not qualified for. Look mm -hmm. at the basic qualifications. Okay. There's a computer system more than likely behind it and it's going right. to eliminate you and that's okay. going to lead to your frustration. Okay. So I, just help you not be frustrated frustrated. Okay. Now what about for the people that are truly overqualified because I know nowadays with it being hard out there that you know sometimes you just got to take what you can get so right. we have a lot of people that are truly overqualified for the job. What are the experiences that they're having? Uh, well, the over, that is definitely mm -hmm. something that's key. So you have to eat. So mm -hmm. I, I do say, okay, right. you take that job. But also then that's when, again, I'd like them to come to me so we can okay. develop a career mapping strategy. Okay. What can we do to get you back in that field? Who do, who do you know? Mm -hmm. Have you talked to people? A lot of times when people lose jobs, there's some shame behind being laid off. Right. And so they don't tell. I've known people who haven't told family things they're going to a job for six months, you mm -hmm. know. And so getting rid of that stigma of shame mm -hmm. and, all, and utilizing the resources that are right there for you. So, again, if you have to take a job, I understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But our goal at Empowerment it really is to help you find your passion okay. and get your next career that you're made for. Okay. okay. Now, on resumes themselves as well, what about the format? I know we recently saw we were reviewing a friend's resume, mm -hmm. and it was a new format that I hadn't really seen before. And they mm -hmm. had, um, like, little testimonials or, or comments on on the side of it so mm -hmm. what are the formats of resumes these days is it still the, the old way that it used to be with the basics with your summary at the top and mm -hmm. listing your jobs and then your um, uh, schooling or has the style really changed now they, they have they have changed okay and it depends on your industry so more some of the more artistic industries may have uh, different things on there as well as um, 
Some maybe have the traditional, okay. okay, but also there's a hybrid resume. Okay. So and that one cross functional. So there are a variety of okay. different resumes, mm -hmm. and I like that's why we do customized resumes. Okay. We don't use templates. Mm -hmm. We sit down, and find out who you are, okay. what you're trying to do, and that way we can uh, formulate something that works for okay. you in your industry. Okay. Wow, well, I'm, I'm telling you all, this is a lot. Um, those out there that are they're having challenges or struggling with trying to you know get a position, definitely make sure that you reach out uh, to Michelle and her company. Um, the HR companies that need um, HR consultants or management and help sounds like you're great there. What are the services? Are there any other services that we haven't touched on? Uh, and the only thing else that we do is mediation. So we actually do mediations, and that comes in with the HR consulting. Okay. I've had companies where they may have some concerns with their employees mm -hmm. or managers, okay. and so we come in and, and we're that third oh. party. And so it takes we don't have the emotion attached mm -hmm. to that. So that again, that's one of our HR uh, consulting um, okay. services we provide. Yeah. And then I heard you mention training. Uh, what type of events do you have? Any events coming up? We do have several events. We have okay. a couple of resume workshops okay. coming up, and you can see our current events on our website, as well as we're going to be doing some career fairs now these are not job fairs these are career fairs okay and so the, What's difference, the difference yeah so the difference with the career fair is we're going to have a variety of different areas where you're talking about dressing for success okay how to use social media or uh, whether you want to increase your interviewing skills so we're going to have a variety of different areas okay. where you can attend 10 minutes 10 to 15 minute sessions okay. to get some tips and we'll have an expert in the room okay. with you and so that's where it differs because this is the prep to get you out there okay so the wow. jobs are out there you just got to find them and well, I, I wish I knew about you all when I was in in the job where I always say I'm unemployable now, but uh, <laughs> in, in, enjoying running my business, but um, but you never know. So so I've got your number. Uh, but before we go, please tell everyone how they can get in touch with you because great events I'm hearing, great services. So let everybody know all of your different ways that we can contact you. Okay, thank you. So um, the first way you can visit our website it's www.empowermentconsultingllc.net. Also, we're on Twitter. So you go to Empower You Consult mm -hmm. on Twitter, as well as we're on Facebook at Facebook.com, Empowerment Consulting. Okay. And I know you're on LinkedIn. And we're on LinkedIn. <laughs> we're definitely on LinkedIn. And you can find me on LinkedIn, I'm Michelle Skipper on LinkedIn, as well as you can find Empowerment Consulting. Fantastic. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us today. It has Thanks just been wonderful me. hearing all this information. We look forward to, to really having you on again. Uh, we have a lot going on, and I know you have a lot of great information to share. So I'd love to hear you uh, come on back and do some training, maybe. Oh, sounds good. Thank you for Fantastic. having me again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. This has been another great episode of That's My Biz. Please continue to join us. You can watch the show on demand at www.bizlinks.tv. Until next time, let's connect. Thank you for joining us. Today's show can be viewed on demand on our website at www.bizlinks.tv. If you are interested in having your products, services, or special cause showcased on our program, submit an inquiry to that's my biz at bizlinks.tv. In addition, Information on advertising and hosting your own show can be found on our website at bizlinks.tv.